News 46 is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. News is also brought to you by Bees Embroidery and Garment Printing, specializing in custom and personalized decoration of gifts, garments, and more. Call 775-727-9444. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, an important series of classes to start soon. News 46 asks the question of the day. USDA food distribution is happening this weekend. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Zach Reinert. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening. It's Wednesday, February 17th, 2016. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Zach Reinert for News 46. An important seminar will start soon at Nye Communities Coalition. Willie Bear explains. You know, there are so many nonprofits here in Nye County, and it's growing. And a year and a half ago, Stacy Smith, who is the executive director of Nye Communities Coalition, and myself put together a six part training series for nonprofit management. And uh, it was successful. We had about 14 people uh, at that last training series. And so it's time to do it again. We've had several people ask. And we already have people signing up for it. The interesting part is that um, those who attended it the first time, some of them want to come back for a refresher. So that's kind of fun. It's uh, $25 per person per session. Uh, unless you pay in advance, then you get a $25 break off. So it would be 125 if paid in advance. And what kind of items do you go over at these sessions? Well, one of the most important thing is board. <laughs> being having a board and managing your board appropriately and properly and having a board that is working for the nonprofit organization. We also do a thing on hiring staff, on um, how to hire properly so that your employees stay with you, uh, hiring, training, orientation, that kind of thing. We do a session on special event planning, coordination, evaluation, uh, we do an, uh, a night on media, uh, social media, how to get your stuff on the air or in the newspaper. And we do another night on grant writing. That's very popular because grant writing takes a special skill and there's many different kinds of grants. And Stacy is excellent at that. And we do a session on how to chair a meeting, uh, what a good chairman does. And you've been to so many meetings where they don't have an agenda and they don't stay on task and you know so just common sense things it's not really just for nonprofit businesses it's for any management person includes customer service as well Pahrump is kind of notorious for not having great people trained in customer service and so that's part of the program so this can be for anybody who would like to attend, from everyone to a large business, small business, nonprofit, people who want to start a business? Absolutely. It's the ABCs, the basics and beyond, as to how to manage a business. When is it going to be? It starts the last two Thursdays in March and every Thursday evening in April for six weeks. How do you reserve a seat? The number is 702-592-5276. A local man accused of firing shots into an area home while the family was inside is now set to make a plea deal. Paul Applegate will reportedly plead guilty to three counts of discharging a firearm at or into a structure after he was arrested for shooting into his neighbor's home on New Year's Day. A police investigation discovered that 21-year-old Applegate targeted his neighbor because their dog killed Applegate's mom's dog back in 2014. 
Police say Applegate confessed to the shooting after shells from a 38 caliber handgun, the kind of gun his mom owned, were found at the scene. No one was shot during the incident. Applegate originally faced charges of attempted murder and assault with a deadly weapon. He remains in custody on a $135,000 cash bail or $265,000 bond. Applegate's arraignment is set for March 14th. Cliven Bundy was in court today in Portland, Oregon. The judge denied his bail. The federal government says there is no way Bundy should be released on bail after lying out why in a 34-page memorandum. Bundy was arrested in Oregon, but the charges stem from an incident right here in Nevada. Prosecutors plan to use Cliven Bundy's own statements to the media against him, calling him a danger to the community. The Nevada rancher is held until his trial on charges stemming from the armed confrontation over unpaid grazing fees from two years ago. The U.S. Attorney General's offices call the April 2014 showdown in Bunkerville an extremely violent act, adding that Bundy and his followers have pledged to do it again. The government further argues that because Bundy doesn't recognize federal law, there is no reason to believe he would show up for future hearings. Clive and Bundy will have another hearing on Friday. Eventually, he will have to be returned to Nevada, but there is no word yet on when that will happen. News 46 will return in just a moment.